I mean, look, are they juicy or are they not juicy? I love, I love, I love it. everybody welcome back to my channel it's Bethany and today I want to talk to you guys about the Denman brush these are my Denman brushes don't look too closely because they are well loved okay but this is nothing new to the curly hair community I mean most of you guys probably know what a Denman brush is I just want to kind of show you guys how I use it and how I get super defined curls by using the Denman brush so I use it today and I'm gonna show you everything that I did. Um, the Denman brush is a brush. It is a plastic based brush and it has like this rubber kind of like insert. Um, let me see if I can, this one comes out easier on my black version. Um, there's two different versions. <laughs> Hair product guys, please don't judge me. Like I said, they're well loved. I just use them in this video. This one with the red rubber piece has less rows of bristles and the black one has more rows of bristles. So again, I'm sorry about the product in them, but this comes out, this part of the brush comes out, it kind of slides out. I'm not really sure why it slides out. I've never really figured that part out. And But anyways, you guys, um, these are my two Denman brushes that I have and I have been using them for like for like years now, um, but I love them for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, in the shower. I know this is kind of controversial. Some people don't like to use the Denman brush to detangle their hair in the shower. Some people feel that they get more breakage. That is not my experience. I like to use the Denman brush. I'm just gentle with it and it doesn't take a lot of force to detangle my hair with it. Um, I also love the Tangle Teaser though for detangling my hair in the shower. Um, for the same reason. So if I had to pick one, I'd probably go more so with the Tangle Teaser versus the um, Denman if I had to pick to detangle. But what I do love the Denman brush for is defining my curls. You guys, I like to use it to get curl definition. So there's lots of methods out there to define your curls. You can do shingling, you can do finger coiling, you can you know, use a brush, not use a brush. I mean, there's, there's tons of different techniques. The Denman brush to me is like a very, very quick way to get very defined curls without having to do, you know, the sh individual shingling and the all the finger coiling, which those are looks. Those are both looks that I like, but this can give me um, some really, really nice definition without doing all of that if I don't have the time. So with that being said, if you guys want to see the process that I take to define my curls using the Denman brush, then just keep watching this video. Okay, so I wanted to start off by showing you guys how my hair looks when it dries completely with no product in it. So this is just... <laughs> A big fro basically not defined very frizzy it's a look for some people but for me we need to do something about it so I am pulling up about two-thirds of my hair and just to get it out of the way what I need to do is I need to wet my hair down in order to be able to add the product and go ahead and style it for me the number one rule of thumb when looking for curl definition is moisture and making sure that my hair is like soaking like dripping dripping wet when I apply the product and um, so after I kind of get it wet, I'm going to take the Denman brush and then I'm just gonna begin brushing from the ends. And I'm going to just, just nothing aggressive, just gently brushing through my hair. This is really just to make sure my hair is fully detangled since I did kind of have it pulled back while it was, you know, it was in a ponytail while it was dry. So here I should have added even more water to my hair, you guys. So please do as I say and not as I do and make sure your hair is dripping, dripping wet when you apply um, your product and that will really help with your definition. Um, unless you have high porosity hair, then I would definitely recommend having your hair soaking wet. So I'm adding a little bit of Miss Jessie's Quick Curls and then I'm gonna use my curl defining mousse as well. That's by Design Essentials, and this is my product of choice. In the, on the nape of my neck, um, I don't go as heavy with the product here because my hair is a lot finer and it just doesn't need as much product, but you'll see me add actually a lot more product to you know other parts of my hair. But here we go with the Dimmon brush. You wanna make sure that you're actually curving the brush, kind of tilting it towards your head and dragging it through your hair in a way that is smoothing the hair. You want 
the strands of your hair to kind of like glide along the rubber portion of the brush and that is what is going to smooth the hair straight through and create those smoothed out clumped and defined curls so as you guys can see it's kind of straightening out the curls as i'm dragging the brush out and then i just give them a shake in order to get the curl kind of back into formation but i'm going to repeat this process on my entire head of hair so once again wetting my hair and I want to, of course, like I said, I want it to be really, really wet. I want it to be detangled. Those are gonna be your key tips. Again, do as I say, not as I do. Th this hair is not wet enough. I'm looking at this and just thinking, like, Bethany, what were you doing? Like, what were you thinking? That's not wet enough. So, um, of course, I'm applying, applying a very generous amount of product here because I know my hair is more coarse moving up towards my head. And I'm using the exact same process. I'm smoothing the hair out with the brush. And you guys will be able to see, I'll slow it down a little bit later so you can see it even better. But you wanna curve the brush so that the hair is really just gliding along the rubber portion of, of it. So again, I'm applying a light conditioner, light leave-in, and then I'm applying the mousse. These are very lightweight products and they don't give me a lot of hold. So this is just the quick and easy kind of version of my wash and go. Um, I like to use the mousse when I'm kind of in a rush. But you guys can already see those curls, honey, they are popping. They are here for you know the juiciness they are they're thriving so this is this is exactly what i do no matter what product i'm using this is just the technique of using the actual dimming brush so here we go again applying the product sectioning it off and just smoothing it and um it's it kind of you know it does kind of stretch the curls out a bit so the shaking kind of just helps them get back into place i will say the dimming brush using it will cause you to have more shrinkage in the end um, for whatever reason since the curls are kind of like it's kind of causing these ringlets to happen you know and so the hair does shrink up a little bit more so that's something that you want to keep in mind but hey it's all for the definition right the shrinkage is definitely worth it for the definition that, that you can get Okay, so here I'm gonna show you guys again. I'm taking the brush and as you guys can see, I put it on and I'm turning it. You see that? And slowly bringing it through. And of course, you don't wanna run through your fingers like that. I mean, you don't have to, it's not hurting anything, but if you can help it, sometimes I can't help it, but um, try not to touch it too much after you go through it with the brush. I'll show you it again here. We're gonna curve it and we're gonna bring it straight down. And you guys see that, see how it's, it's clumped and that is what's giving you that amazing definition. And that is the magic and the power of the Denman brush. So again, I'll show you it one last time here. You're dragging it through. You can even follow the brush with your fingers and that just even solidifies those curls even more. So I'm gonna continue the same process through the entire rest of my head and then I will be back. So I'm going to finish this process on my entire head and you guys will be able to see the type of definition that I had in my hair just from using this method with the dimming brush. Even while it's wet, you can tell the definition that's there. I will say usually I wouldn't part my hair this way to do my bangs, but I was trying to keep it parted to the sides in a way so that I could see because it was so hard for me to see while I was filming. So I kind of had to open the curtains Hey you guys, so my hair is dry now and so I wanted to show you guys just the definition that I've gotten and as you guys can see I have like these clumps where the hair is clumped together because of the dimming brush. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like before I actually go and separate my curls. And then I'm gonna go ahead and separate my curls and then I'll be back. I've done it a million times on my channel. If you guys would like a dedicated video to how to separate your curls, I can definitely do that. But I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished result of my hair after using the dimming brush to define my curls. I let it, I went ahead and let it completely dry. And then of course, 
I separated the curls as I told you guys I would do. And yeah, this is the final look. I'm always happy with my hair whenever I use the Denman brush. Um, and a lot of times it's slightly dependent on what products I used and, and things like that. So this time I used very lightweight products. I used a very lightweight cream and a mousse. So it's not a whole lot of hold. So I do expect, you know, a little bit of frizz. But even with the frizz, the definition is, is definitely still there in my curls, which I absolutely love. And a little bit of frizz never hurt anybody. But um, if you really use some nice rich creams and some holding gels you i mean your curls will be they will be locked and loaded so i i just love the juiciness i mean look are they juicy or are they not juicy i love i love i love it i just love it so that is my experience with the dimmin brush if you guys have questions about it definitely leave them down below i'd be happy to try to answer them um to the best of my ability based on my experience and yeah, you guys, I hope that this was helpful to you. And if it was, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I post weekly videos, so definitely stay tuned for more content.